After six months and 264 games played, it all comes down to two teams for CSL bragging rights. Kingston FC and SC Waterloo will battle it out for league supremacy on November 3rd at Kalar Stadium in Niagara Falls. Kingston, a team that were consistently strong from opening day onward in 2013, and Waterloo, a team that alternated wins and losses for much of the year, but finished the season on a significant run that continued into the postseason. Two teams in their second year of first division play that knocked off traditional league powers for the right to play for the CSL's ultimate prize. We begin with SC Waterloo. Coach Lazo Despina's team likely weren't given much hope of reaching the final by many casual CSL fans. At the start of September, the squad had as many wins as losses, and they only qualified for the playoffs as the fifth seed. However, a deeper look reveals a team that is peaking at the perfect time. They finished the regular season on a three-game win streak, including a 5-0 destruction of York Region. If there's one word that comes to mind when looking at Waterloo, it's experience. Experience playing in Europe and valuable CSL experience as well. Three years ago, led by Coach Despina, the Brantford Galaxy won the league championship, led by numerous players that now suit up for Waterloo. Included are midfielder Rankel Goljanin, a 38-year-old Serbian who previously played in Spain as well as in the USL. Harris Fazlajic, a 26-year-old Bosnian striker who finished with five goals this year. And Drazen Vukovic, a 32-year-old Croatian striker who set the league of fire upon his arrival three years ago. In 2012, he led the CSL with 22 goals, and this year, he potted 15. Vukovic provides a dynamic punch up front with Bosnian Adis Hasesic, who finished fourth in league scoring with 17 goals. With all that goal scoring talent, it's not surprising that Waterloo finished second overall in offense this year with 52 goals scored. Defensively, they were solid as well, allowing 33 goals, which was fourth best in the league. Goalkeeper Imad Hikura obviously played a massive role in that with some huge timely saves. Waterloo blew out a very strong Branton team in the quarterfinals 4-0 and then knocked off two-time defending champion Toronto Croatia in the semis on penalty kicks. They're experienced, they are deep, and as mentioned, they're peaking at just the right time. On we move to Kingston FC. 2012 was a year of growing pains in their inaugural first division season as the team won just four games. 2013, however, saw a remarkable turnaround. From their season opening 6-2 defeat of Brampton, they served notice they'd be a force to be reckoned with. Up near the top of the league table for most of the year, they finished as the CSL regular season champs and number one playoff seed. Head coach Colm Muldoon was on the sidelines for his first full season and the Irishman brought a new winning attitude to the Reds. Just as important, the team had remarkable performances all through their lineup. Leading the way was 2013 CSL Golden Boot winner Guillaume Serrault. The Frenchman potted an incredible 28 goals, 9 better than the second place score. To watch Soro and midfielder Edgar Soglo play off each other this year was a thing of beauty. Soglo, the creative genius behind Kingston's attack, potted three goals in the regular season. Jason Massey, an import from Liverpool, hit the net nine times. Romadian Cadillan Likeoyu scored ten and was absolutely clinical on free kicks from as far out as 30 yards. And not surprisingly, Kingston led the league in goals. And defensively, they were solid with the third lowest total. Czech keeper Jaroslav Tezar won 16 games, highest of all CSL goalies, and earning him a nomination for goalkeeper of the year. Kingston has been a remarkable success this year, and the squad would love nothing more than to bring a title back to the city, which has embraced the team since its inception last year. To get here, Kingston squeaked out an extra time 2-1 win against Serbia in the quarterfinals, and in the semi, were tight against London until pulling away late for a 3-1 victory. Kingston or Waterloo? Who will bring home the CSL's ultimate prize in 2013? Come down to Kalar Stadium in Niagara Falls and witness it firsthand. Game kickoff is at 2.30 p.m. Prior to that, the second division final goes at noon with Croatia taking on Waterloo. And for tickets, head to CanadianSoccerLeague.com for all the information.